never slow up No, I don't take shit, I got no love For the fakeness, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement, I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit, I got no love For the fakeness, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate What's going on guys? Over here at the shop today after work uh, Just got back from slide alone, no prep uh, convertible did pretty good got out in, i think five cars and russell got out ran uh by waylon pierce uh down on mile per hour uh not making as much mile per hour as we feel like it should be on this this amount of boost and everything so we're gonna change converters i have a an npx that's just been sitting in a box for a while uh gonna throw that in and, and see if we can get some mile per hour back maybe i'll make a you know a couple passes on the street and see you know see how it does let's see how it fires up after sitting all all weekend though uh let's see may need some foot pedal action here That's the track. Russell's car. He he's just gonna show up later, like cold trickle, and uh, and drive apparently. Who is this driver? Get this unloaded, got tires swapped today over to radials so that we can try to run Extreme Street tomorrow. Uh, be like the first time on radials in a while. Jack brought his car out also, so hopefully we can do pretty well. And then Andy is right over on the other side of that. And then Jonathan and his truck is right here. Amber will be here shortly. She'll park right here. And hopefully she can run her nine this evening. But let's see how this weekend goes. Got Russell's car out of the trailer, warmed up. Took all of our weight out, 200. We took 200 pounds out, but we had already taken some out in Lubbock. Uh, I think we're 300 pounds lighter than we are on the street normally. Um, it definitely raises the rear of the car up quite a bit, but that's okay. Uh, hopefully give a little more separation on the ladder bar. Uh, I changed the CO2 bottle, it was out of CO2, check transmission fluid, everything's good to go. Now we're just waiting on old Cole Trickle himself to, to show up. And then Jack is over there working on the tune for it. Track was really good. We'll see if we can go a new personal best with Russell's car. And Jack said he actually washed his car. It rained in Clovis and he just uh, pushed it outside. So. Let's see how tonight goes. Yep. This side of the block looks great. Yeah, we don't fucking touch it. 
All right, Jack, what do you think about that last pass? Uh, really solid pass, really happy with the, the way the converter is working. Uh, and it didn't have a whole lot of boost in it and didn't have it in very quickly either. So looking really good there. Um, I turned it up 200 RPM on the leave on this one and then brought the boost in a lot faster. So should be an added more boost. So should be pretty quick. Oh yeah. Messed up the truck again last night. I didn't mess up the truck. Stock ECU is not happy right now. Trying no. to you because you want to go fast. Yeah, I'm not even driving. What do you mean I want to go fast? This was your go. idea. I want to run nines before the end of the year. Well, this is the last day. Well, you're just really sucking this whole nine second quest though. Am I or it's the truck? So anyway, I guess with a stock computer, if you uh you get over a certain cylinder mass per grams. I don't know. Do you understand what is what, what is uh, the drive by wire? It's a it's a drive by wire issue. I think it's like upset with how much airflow it has, so have to scale it. We're making too much power, basically, with this deal. Hi, Amber. If you would just do my car. I have parts to start working on it. So I know. <laughs> we're gonna get there. So hopefully we get the truck figured out, make a couple test hits. Last night sucked. Uh, Russell's car did good. It's in that trailer right over there, right past Jack. So I'm gonna go over there and help him get his car out in a second. So. Got Russell's car out here, warming up. Uh, gonna, if we have time, to change the oil, change the spark plugs on it, and then run Extreme Street and Small Fire today. Personal best last night, so hopefully we can go another personal best today. Cut the wind from underneath you. That'll give you 30 to 40 more horsepower. I'm gonna give you a fuel line that will hold an extra gallon of gas. 
I'm gonna shave half an inch off you and shape you like a bullet. And when we get you prime painted and weighed, you'll be ready to go out on that racetrack. What do you think about the track? Sticky. Sticky. It's very sticky. Russell nice. going, Russell going PB? First pass? Yeah. Me and Russell both make a PB. Okay. I hope so. Well. What? I need air. The okay. Okay. Changing the oil. <laughs> Spark plugs. <laughs> Getting ready for bless you. Russell's gonna run Extreme Street and Boy. Small Tire today, so figured it needed a fresh oil change while we do that. Seems like the fuel pump in the truck took a crap in the, the intake fuel pump. Um, so our, our external is not big enough, I guess, to support uh, power we're trying to make. Um, it went lean, like right at the 60 foot area. Uh, so with the fuel pump issue and the throttle body issue, I think we're just going to, uh, I think we're just gonna load it up and not race it the rest of the weekend. Right, Amber? Unfortunately, yeah. so it sucks, but we'll just focus on Russell's car and get ready for, for next time. We have, have a bunch of parts for Amber's car that we just got, so she's excited about getting her car going too. So it sucks, but it's part of it. Something else. What was that? It's not one thing, it's something else. Yep. A few moments later Extreme Street Finals, Russell and 
Chris Spears, the reigning track champion. So we'll see how this one goes. ran the finals of extreme street uh russell got out mile per hour basically uh his little Jeep s400 deal is just not not doing it it was a good race they said like half a car to finish um the current track champion and, uh, and extreme street or whatever so um but now we're gonna go up to run small tire cars ready to go go run small tire and hope uh <laughs> i think they're making fun of me Go run small tire and hope we can pull off that win. So this is the truck. Russell's racing in the finals. Super cool. CTM. Protar's big long deal. Here we got the small tire finals. Prochar's F3 140, 540. Russell's Give us, a, give us a rundown, update, recap. What happened? Nice. Peyton. She slept all day. It's fine. Oh, yeah, I slept all day in the turbo truck, and I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed it. So we brought it the all the way down here just afraid to have somewhere to sleep at? Pretty much. Makes sense. Because it wasn't to make personal best. <laughs> Next time, for sure. What are you doing over here? Stop, Brennan. I don't want to freaking be in it. Dude. Well, as you saw, uh, we were able to win small tire. Unfortunately, we got edged out in True Street. Um, Russell just doesn't have enough turbo yet. This little TDI S four hundred ninety one uh, just out of out of steam, making right at fourteen hundred, thirteen hundred eighty horsepower, something like that. Um, Forty five hundred foot DA. So this little turbo is just uh, he got GT fifty five. Chris has a GT fifty five. That's what we need. Um, that will we will fix that for next time, uh, and then we won't we'll have the mile per hour problem again. Uh, but we did win small tire, so that's we're gonna stay on the good, the positive side of this. Uh, the converter working amazing. Uh, Jack was super super happy with the uh, with the data that it was showing this weekend. Um, excited to get back on the street and see how we can run on some bare asphalt stuff. That's what the car was really built for, was bare asphalt um, street race type stuff. Super cool that the car is ver as versatile as it is. Uh, we went from uh, testing on, on bare asphalt. <laughs> front side no prep to uh, radial prep just the uh, tire change and shock changes um car's working really well uh russell was able to go with pb this weekend um super excited about that i don't he doesn't want me to 
share what he ran uh, for, for the combination that we have in this car. It's very impressive. Um, but there's still room for improvement. We're going to improve on it next year. Uh, actually taking it to winter meltdown in a couple weeks. Um, going to run true street there. So, uh, hopefully we can improve on, on that there as well. Um, we are going to bring my car for winter meltdown. So that's exciting. I, uh, will be the first time I've been able to make a pass in it since the rebuild. Um, I'll do another video on it, but we, we set up the four link, uh, getting a front end alignment on it this week. Uh, just went over the whole car, got it ready. Um, super excited. Can't wait. Um, as always like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, we have a t-shirt design coming out that we're working on. Uh, my sister's fiance Bryson is working on the t-shirt design for it. So it's turning out super awesome. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the next couple of weeks we'll have t-shirts and everything. I'll post them in the, you know, in the comment section down below. Um, but anyway, like I said, comment, like, share, subscribe, come check us out at winter meltdown. Um, I will be posting a video before then, and then maybe two for winter meltdown. So, uh, in other news, see you guys later.